I'm Maya Benrosso, I'm the Delaware River Keeper. And um, I asked for a little bit of time to be on the agenda because in my role as the Delaware River Keeper, and on behalf of the Delaware River Keeper Network, I wanted to give Nakamixon Township um, an award to recognize you for your good works in helping us to protect the Delaware River. Hopefully all of you know that the Delaware Riverkeeper Network has been working for 25 years to champion the rights of communities to a Delaware River that's free flowing, clean, healthy, and abundant with the diversity of life. But it's a big river, and it's a big watershed, and it means a lot of things to a lot of people, and it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And really protecting our river is a community effort. <coughs> And, um, and we know that. And at the Delaware Riverkeeper Network, we're, we're, we are trying to um, make an enhanced effort on our part to recognize the local officials and the local towns who are really doing um, an extraordinary, um, taking on extraordinary efforts in, in their, on their part to help us protect this Delaware River. And I don't know if your community knows, but back in 2012, the Pennsylvania legislature passed a piece of legislation called Act 13. And Act 13 mandated that shale gas extraction, shale gas development be allowed to happen in every part of every community. And when it passed that legislation, it took from municipalities across the Commonwealth their ability to use their zoning authority to help um, protect their communities from shale gas extraction, from drilling and fracking, by dictating where, how, when it might happen in a community. And it was a real power grab for municipalities. Um, and it, was a, it, it, it undermined their authority and their ability to protect the, their residents. Um, but it also subjected all of us to this onslaught of shale gas extraction as it passed across um, and passes across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And Nakamixon Township joined with the Delaware Riverkeeper Network and with six other towns to bring a legal action to challenge Act 13 and to challenge this power grab by the state, um, this undermining of municipal zoning authority, um, and also joined us in our claim that allowing this much shale gas extraction um, in the way Act 13 did it was an undermining of the environmental rights of all Pennsylvanians that in Pennsylvania there's a constitutional prov provision that protects our environmental rights. It protects our right to pure water, clean air, and a healthy environment. And we went through the entire court system and our legal action ended up in the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. And because of this legal action that Nakamixon Township did with the Delaware Riverkeeper Network and these six other towns, we secured an extraordinary decision um, in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. It was a decision that declared portions of Act 13 unconstitutional and res restored to municipalities their full zoning authority when it came to shale gas extraction. But it was also extraordinary in that a plurality of the Supreme Court, and including the Chief Justice, um, breathed new life into the Environmental Rights Amendment of, Pennsylvania Consti of Pennsylvania's Constitution, a provision that was it should have been very powerful, but for 41 years sort of was, was disempowered by the way it was ignored by many officials across the Commonwealth. And what the um, Chief Justice of the Pennsylvania Supreme Court said, amongst other things, was that all people have an inherent and indefeasible right to pure water, clean air, and a healthy environment. And that these are rights that must be, that uh, in Pennsylvania are protected by our Constitution. They're not granted by our Constitution. The rights we have as people, but they are protected by our Constitution. And that there is an obligation of every level of government to protect our environmental rights to pure water, clean air, and healthy environment for present and future generations. And so in pursuing the Act 13 litigation and coming up with this extraordinary decision, what Naka Mixon did was it really restored uh, a critical level of authority to all municipalities, to all municipalities, municipal officials across the Commonwealth, but it also gave to all people in Pennsylvania, restored for all people in Pennsylvania, the environmental rights that are supposed to be insured and now are insured by Article 1, Section 27, our Environmental Rights Amendment. And there were very few towns and very few officials that were willing to stand up against Act 13, but your officials did. Naka Mixon did, and so um, this has provided critical protections for many, many communities, but not the least of which are all the communities 
in the Pennsylvania portion of the Delaware River watershed. So we at the Delaware Riverkeeper Network wanted to bring to you a quote from the Supreme Court decision that you helped provide and a picture of our beautiful river and an award just to thank you for taking that important step that provides, provided so much protection to so many people and to our beautiful Delaware. So thank you. Great, thank you. Thank you.